Plug in Fridays. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Plug in Fridays, where I take some time to talk about a QJS plugin that I like, and maybe show you around how I use it and how you can use it as well. If you don't know what plugins are, you can check the video description for a post uh, talking about it. But basically, plugins are awesome. They extend the capabilities of QGIS, and they range from the very powerful to the mundane. And for this week, I would be talking about one of the most useful plugins that I've used, that I've had a chance to use, the Quick OSM plugin. So let's go over in QGIS and see it in action. So here I have my QGIS open. I also have a vector layer administrative boundary for the National Capital Region in the Philippines open. If you want to download the Quick OSM plugin, then we go to plugins, manage and install plugins, which is basically how you install any plugins. And if you notice, there are more than 900 plugins available right now. If you want to get just the Quick OSM plugin, you can go to all, just look for Quick OSM, and then it will show you information about the plugin. So basically, Quick OSM allows you to download OSM data you know, thanks to the Overpass API. You can also open you know, local OSM and PBF files, but you don't have to worry too much about knowing Overpass or how to write in Overpass. Even if you don't, you can use the plugin. It has a very simple uh, query the capabilities that allows you to just you know define the query instead of writing uh, writing it in Overpass. So again, you can look for it under Plugins, All tab, or if you have it installed already, then that's fine. Look for Quick OSM, then just click Install Plugin, and it should uh, install it there. So you can close it now, and it should appear on your toolbars uh, like this, and it should also be can also be found under Vector Quick OSM. Now let's let's open the plugin and see how it look looks like and what it does. So again, you can use the toolbar for it, or you can just go to vector quick OSM, quick OSM. And this is the window of the quick OSM plugin. As you can see, there are five tabs here: a quick query, which allows you to create a simple, a very quick query for uh, on OSM using the tags, uh, the keys and values of the tags of, Q of OSM features. There's a query tab where you can write your overpass query if you're familiar with writing an overpass or if you want to create more uh, complex queries in, in Quick OSM. You can even load, as I mentioned, OSM files. And then you have this last two tabs, which basically deals with the parameters or which overpass API you would like to use for doing your queries and just some information about the plugin itself. So for this for this uh, <laughs> plugin Friday session, we'll just go over the two, uh, quick query and query tab and show you how that works. So once again, Quick OSM allows you to load vector layers from OpenStreetMap data by taking advantage of the tags in OSM features, which have a key and a value attached to that key. So if you look at the Quick Query, we actually have uh, a query on all the keys, uh, a query on all the values, uh, where we want to query it from, the, the geographic extent of how we want to query it from, as well as some advanced parameters right here. So let's try to do a very simple query. I, For example, I want to load all the, all the fast food chains in, in Metro Manila, right? So I can go amenity, because I know that the key for a fast food is amenity, and its tag is fast food. As you notice, it has a autocomplete dropdown, which is which is really nice. Uh, and in, 
I would just want it to use a layer. So I'll I'll select layer extent and then I'll use my admin boundary for NCR as my layer. I can run this, but I can also, you know, I can provide more advanced parameters. For example, I don't want I don't want polygons. I just want points. So I could just deselect these feet, the, these options so that the data that will be loaded by QuickOSM will just be the points. So basically what we're telling QuickOSM here is make a very simple query on OpenStreetMap data, get all the point features whose key is amenity and his, whose value for that key is fast food. And just get all of the, those points within the extent of my uh, admin boundary layer or this layer that I've chosen. After that, you can run the query. And it should tell you that it's downloading data using the API that you chose. And successful query, one layer has been loaded. So we can now actually take a look at that. And we now have all these, you know, this amenity fast food layer, which has all the, uh, all the features, point features in OSM tagged with amenity value being fast food. And you can even open its attribute table to show the, the attributes, all right? Uh, take note that similar to other processing uh, algorithms in QGIS, the output is a temporary scratch layer or a temporary layer, a layer in memory. So if you want to make it, if you want to make it uh, persistent, you can either save it or you can use the memory layer saver plugin, but that, that's for another episode. So that's the the quick query version. You really just need to have an idea of of keys and values or the way that features are tagged in OSM. So if you want to learn more about that, you can check out the video description. There's a link there to a post that talks more about uh, how features are tagged in OpenStreetMap. So that's the quick query. Another one that we can look at would be the query or the, the, the feature that allows you to perform overpass query um, using, well, the overpass language. Let's try to recreate this uh, query that we, ha we, we did before, wherein we chose all the amenities that are fast food in NCR admin boundary, just uh, points. So if you want to recreate this in in the query tab, we can just click show query. So now it has, a, this is actually the um, overpass version of that quick query that we, that we did. So what can we do with this? We can, if you know overpass, you can actually edit this to make a more uh, complex or complicated query that utilizes more features or more key value parameters. So let's try to do that here. Uh, what we'll do is instead of just, uh, instead of all the fast food, we just want to load Jollibee, for example, right? So how do we do that? What if we don't know if there's a tag that we can use or you know a key value combination that we can use to, to get uh, just Jollibee data from OSM? Well, one trick is we can utilize the, the fast food layer that we loaded earlier and then see if there's a field there that we can, that we can use for, for just getting you know, all the Jollibee point features in OSM. So let me just copy this first. Let's open the attribute table of the amenity fast food. You can actually see there that there's a name field that has Jollibee and all the other names of of the of the features of the point features of the fast foods. So we can use that.
let's open our Quick OSM plugin again. Go to query. I'll paste the 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 overpass query I I copied earlier, and then I'll just add uh, below has kv equals amenity another parameter or another search query which is has k equals name v equals jollibee and then i could just paste that on on all the on all the instances where i need to paste it right then we can try to run this and see if it actually just gets you know, the Jollibee data. Okay, so let's run the query. And as you can see, it's downloading data from overpass. It's creating the query and it says, uh, successful query, one layer has bit loaded. And that layer is this one. It has the name of some query. Once again, it's a temporary layer. We can style it differently um, just to make it easier to see Let's make it red so if we, can, if we check this let's open its attribute table you see it's Jollibee So we now have all our Jollibee data sets. Then you can repeat that if you just want to get, say, McDonald's, KFC, or rather fast foods, really. So that's the quick OSM plugin. In, in summary, it's a very powerful plugin. It allows you to load OpenStreetMap data directly in QGIS without needing to you know, download it and save it on your machine. It will also allow you, if you have uh, OSM files saved on your machine, to, to load those OSM files in, in QGIS. And that's it for this week's Plugin Fridays, or the quick OSM plugin. Like, share, and subscribe if you want more of this content. And, you know, comment down below if you want me to discuss a specific plugin for the next, you know, iteration for the next episode of this. Once again, thank you. Cheers.